Hello and welcome to She Wolf Mom. I'm Erica. In today's video, I am going to be doing a clean and cook with me. I haven't done one of these videos in quite some time. My main focus today was to get my seat covers switched out. I purchased some new ones and I'm really excited to share those with you. And I'm also going to be cleaning my fans because it was definitely time. I'm sharing a yummy soup recipe that I have been wanting to try for quite some time now. And this video is part of a huge collab. It's a fall cooking collab hosted by Tiffany from Small Town 6. It's also hosted by Jessica Myros. Her channel name is Jessica Myros. Thank you ladies for hosting this collab. I'm going to go ahead and link it down below in the description box. That way you can check out all the other amazing recipes. I'm going to start by removing my old seat covers. I'm really excited to try out the new ones. These seat covers are something that I saw floating all over Instagram and I had to give them a try. Uh, my husband did not put up a fight when ordering them because we both really dislike the way the sofas are now. They don't have a perfect fit so they always looked very messy and as you can see these ones are very snug. Um, they wrap around the cushion and each individual cushion has its own cover. So I really do like the way they look. They're said to be waterproof. I don't know. We haven't spilled anything on them yet. What I can say is that I'm not too fond of the print on them. I'm not too fond of the shade of gray that they are. I actually ordered another set that tells you something that I do really like them. I ordered a darker shade of gray and I'm hoping that I'll like that better. But for now, we are going to leave these on. I do think that it made a big difference. It looked a lot cleaner, a lot neater. That means that it's less work for me. I was always having to tidy up the seat covers on the sofa and these ones I really do not have to do that. And I've had them on for a good week now and I can say that they've stayed in place. They look just the same as the first day that I put them on. It's going to be one less daily task that I have to deal with. All I'm going to have to do is fluff up my pillows, put away the throw blankets and my sofa is ready to go. I'll go ahead and link the company down below that I purchased them from. Sometimes it's hard to tell if a company is legit. I one time ordered uh, an appliance off of the internet. Next thing I know, they used my card at an amusement park somewhere on the East Coast. So that was definitely uh, not a fun experience. Luckily, my credit card company caught it, but I can tell you that I have not had that experience with this company at all. I'm now going to be cleaning my ceiling fans and I have not cleaned these since we installed them. I want to say we installed them uh, in spring or before sometime earlier this year and they are black. I love them but um, you can see all of the dust on them and I don't mind that at all. I'd rather see it that way I can get it cleaned and if I stare at it long enough <laughs> then it'll bother me and so it was time for me to get this done. The biggest nuisance in this project was that I had to get a ladder. We do have tall ceilings in this house. I'm actually very grateful for them because I feel like my house would feel a lot smaller if we didn't have the tall ceilings. I don't feel as closed in because of it so I, I do love having the tall ceilings. I can tell you that cleaning the fans is so easy. It takes no time at all. I'm cleaning it with a microfiber cloth. I've found that this is my preferred way of doing it. I have tried other methods, but the microfiber cloth just kind of uh, attracts all of the dust. So I really have to put very minimal effort into doing this. Inside of my spray bottle, that is a recycled spray bottle, I am using a new all-purpose cleaner and it is a natural all-purpose cleaner from Young Living. Uh, one of my YouTube friends turned me onto it and it is the Thieves all-purpose cleaner. It's it's the first time that I use it and I really did like it. I liked the smell. It has kind of a fallish scent to it. I've also been using the Thieves toothpaste. I love it. I'm on my second tube already. So there's just different ways in my life that I'm trying to use cleaner products. Um, I, I don't regret buying any of this. I am a little hooked on Young Living now. The oils are amazing and I never thought I would say that but there's definitely a difference in them. You can just smell the difference. They are amazing and I have about 
three or four rollers now and I just ordered a new one and another tube of toothpaste. I feel like it's a good use of money. I've wasted money on so many other things in the past but this is for my health. These oils help me go to sleep at night sometimes and I think that is what got me hooked is that I saw that wow this can help me sleep when I can't sleep. Um, so definitely look into Young Living. I'll go ahead and note down my friend's info in case you are interested. This is baby proofing from our baby days. Mikey was born and raised in this house until he was about three years old. And nobody ever took off the border. I'll eventually take it off, but for now I'm gonna clean it. It's really dirty. the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever. As you all know, I just moved and downsized in the last couple of months. And I haven't talked to you about my feelings lately. I do feel back to normal. It's taken me a while to get here. The move, the decluttering, the downsizing was just mentally draining. And um, it's taken me a good while to start feeling like myself. I actually have a lot of peace within me and I feel like that's because I own less. <laughs> I never knew that my clutter, all the things that we owned were a part of my anxiety and they really, really were. I feel so much peace. I know my husband is in a much peaceful state as well. And that's because we just have so much less to manage. I love that my house is minimal. I'm still working on getting there, but it is a lot more minimal than it was in the past. I don't feel the urge to buy things. <laughs> I actually don't want to buy things. Um, if I buy something, it's because I have a purpose for it. I put a lot of thought into the things that I bring into my home. Because of that, I'm just at complete peace. I don't feel like I need more. My house needs renovations and the old me would be so stressed out because I wanted to get them done quickly. And now I'm just like, I can wait. <laughs> I'm fine. I can wait. I can live with my ugly counters. I can live with my old floor. You might see that baseboard behind me. It's brown. <laughs> it's not going to be brown in the future, but I'm not letting those type of things bother me because I am at complete and just utter peace. And there's no feeling like it, especially because the way that I'm living is a choice. This is how I want to live my life. And um, when you live life with more intention, it's just really a beautiful thing. So let me know if any of you are considering downsizing, if you are downsizing, if you want to go minimal and simplify your life. And if any of you have done this and can let um, our friends know down below how you feel about it, I think that would be a great help to somebody considering this lifestyle. As I mentioned, this video is part of a cooking collaboration and I'm going to be making a soup that I have been dying to make for such a long time. I love lasagna. Lasagna is one of my favorite uh, Italian dishes, but I'm going to be making it into a soup. As you can tell, these are all of the ingredients that you would need for lasagna. I looked for a recipe that was simple, and so I definitely got simple. <laughs> now that I know how to make it, I feel like I would put my own touch on it. I realized that I do not like the taste of parsley, and parsley was definitely a big part of this dish. Give me the cilantro. <laughs> that must be the Mexican in me, but parsley tastes 
tastes like carrots and I just didn't really like that taste in my lasagna soup but other than that it's so simple to make I made it in my ninja foodie and it really is a one pot dish and those are the type of dinners that I've been gravitating towards I use my foodie I use the pressure cooker portion of it just for a few minutes to cook down whatever needs to be cooked down and I am done I definitely would try it again um, I didn't like the recipe that I used, but I definitely would try it again with my own touch. Um, I'll go ahead and note down the recipe down below in the description box in case you are looking for a recipe. I'm going to be making my own broth and that's what you see me doing here. It called for broth and I figured I would make my own. I don't know if you've ever tried this beef broth, but it is so, so good. So that is why I just didn't buy any. I decided to make my own. It was just easy, simple, add water, add the broth, um, no biggie. Next thing I'm going to do is pour in my spaghetti sauce. I did not make it from scratch. I'm sure you can definitely do it from scratch and it would taste so much better, but this was just a quick dish for me and so I did not go that far. Um, once I give it a good mix, I'm going to put in some bay leaves. I honestly never cook with bay leaves, but um, I decided to just kind of follow the recipe as best as I could. Now what I'm going to do is break up the lasagna noodles into the soup. Then I will close my pot and cook it for three minutes using the pressure cooker. What is lasagna without all of the cheesy goodness? Well, don't worry, we have that covered. If you don't have a pressure cooker or a crock pot, you can definitely make this recipe on a stove easily. So don't let that stop you from making it. It's a really simple dish. All you do is put the ricotta topping on top and it is amazing. I will definitely make this again, of course, with my own twist as I mentioned, but it was something that my family really enjoyed. We actually finished the entire pot. So I really hope that you all enjoyed today's video. It was something that was a little different. Um, I hope to share more cooking recipes in the future as I get settled. And once again, make sure to check out the playlist for all of the amazing ladies that cooked up a dish for you today. I will see you all in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.